join in my people. doing today happy new week to all of you how was your weekend let me pin the coffee link as some others join in you guys know what to do surprise me today surprise me i'll be checking in just a minute so surprise me how was your weekend did you do anything special anything at all uh, let me pin the coffee link here as well. One moment. I see you. Um, what do you mean, Liz? Liz, you said we decided here. What do you mean by that? Good morning, Auntie. I see you in there. I see you all as you're joining, my people. Hello, Tessa Sterling. I see you all. I see you all. I'm not going to call all the names, but you guys know what to do. And let's chat while we wait for some others to join in as well. What did you guys do this weekend? What did you do? Did you cook anything special? Did you bake anything? Are you preparing for Thanksgiving? What exciting things did you do? What's all these notifications here? So I got notification. I'm live. Okay. I hope you guys got that too because they send it to me. Let me check the other comments on the other section here. So we got 80, 85 people on now. So that reminds me. I said if those people didn't get back to me by Saturday, I'm going to call them today about my glasses. I'm going to keep that promise. I just have to remember <laughs> to call them as soon as I get out this live video to figure out what is going on. What is the delay? 
Hey, don't take that long to get glasses back. Jesus. Well, never had glasses here before, right? But guys, we are suffering really, really, really bad. Oh, Lord, we are suffering terribly over here. Should I say it or should I give you people the opportunity to fix it? I ain't going to say it yet. We are suffering real bad too. Real, real bad. We are suffering. I ain't going to say nothing yet. Let me look at some comments. I'm going to give you guys a minute to... You know, fix the issue. Thank you for sharing, Tessie Hayes. Thank you all for everybody that shared the video as well. Appreciate you all. Amen. Margaret Williams said, Good morning, sweet peach and family. Happy new week. Amen. Vangela, I see you in there. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Uh, Sharma C. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy yours as well. Blessings, blessings to all of you. Amen. Happy week. Same new thing, right? New week, same <laughs> same story going round and round and round and round, round and round. It's like a circus kind of wheel that going on now. You know what I mean? Not even a circus because uh, <laughs> no, it's like a merry-go-round. Not those, um, when you go to like those Coney Island things, right? Those events. How you just get in that one that keeps going wrong and wrong. Then sometimes it's go backward and backward. Oh my God, this is not the pirate ship. Because <laughs> you know the pirate ship start from here and then it come and it dip you here and go up. <laughs> well, the pirate ship go up like that too, but Jesus. Now that I remember that merry-go-round, going wrong in a circle, I remember the pirate ship, right? Everybody wanted to go on that thing, but then when it dip you down, pshh, your stomach going like, oh my God, hey. <laughs> your stomach is ready to fall out. Oh my God, I was a daredevil with that one. I used to love that. My mom always used to say, no, I'm not going on that thing. That thing will make my stomach go. <laughs> Jesus, rest in peace, mom. Good times, good times. I see some comments. I see Gloria Jones. Really, Sophia Millington Carter? Oh my goodness, was you doing that as a makeup? For your birthday, she said, I did black pudding sauce. Oh, my God, and sweet bread. Mm, I'm jealous. I could eat some of that black pudding sauce. Oh, Lord, jeez, my gosh. I love that, though. I love that. I need to look and see if they got any Belgian restaurants or anything like that around. But, I mean, I could make it myself. But the black pudding, no, that one day, so I never mastered, to be honest. My mom used to make that. But it sells for sure, definitely. I can make some sauce, even some chicken foot one as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what? Gloria Jones said, good morning, sweet peach. And everyone, news on the block. Nancy Ume had a girl baby, allegedly. What? Well, she does have a girl baby. I mean, good morning, Priscilla. Thank you so much for 200 stars. She said, greeting on this beautiful Monday, P. Thank you, thank you. Greetings to you as well. Good morning. Appreciate you, darling. Um, really, that she had that she, that she had a baby girl. But she does have a baby girl. What's wrong with these people? <laughs> the wheels on the stories keep going round and round. You know, as the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, the wheels on the bus, but the wheels on these stories keep going tweet, 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 circle, circle. I tell you, the things that these people is come up with, oh my gosh. Jesus, take the wheel. Mildred said, good morning, beautiful peaches, family. Hope everyone had a restful weekend. And we are alive and well. Amen. And listening with you. Thank you, darling. Thank you, indeed. Ah, Vandalit says, still having a lot of pain. Thanks, fans. Can you welcome? And we will keep you in prayer as well, darling. Keeping you in prayer. Uh, Carol Charles, thank you so much for under stars, darling. Appreciate you. You activated. You started the star party. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Um, so then we will continue to keep you in prayer. God is with you. Hang in there. Hang in there. Mildred says, Sweet Peach, I got my cassava porn. Yummy. Oh, don't rub it in. Oh my gosh. All that delicious stuff. But don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to get some too. I'm going to get some. I've never made cassava. Have I made cassava porn before? I think I've tried. A uh, long, long time ago in Bethlehem, <laughs> way back when I was living in Tampa. I can't remember how that thing came out, though. Probably not well, because that was my first time trying it. You know what I mean? 
Ah, uh, Patricia, Joseph, thank you. Welcome, welcome. Coming from St. Lucia. Love you all. We love you too. Love you too. But Barbara Lee said, good morning, Peach, and everyone. I had a very good weekend. Nice and quiet. Awesome. That's wonderful. That's the way it's supposed to be sometimes, right? So I love it. Uh, Peggy Senior said, good morning, everyone. Around the walls of Jericho. <laughs> indeed, indeed. I see you all as you're joining. Thank you all so much for being here. And we got 163 on already. Uh-oh, somebody's birthday. Yvonne Wright said, good morning, Sippy Street PJ. It's my birthday today. Happy birthday, Yvonne Wright. We are wishing you many, many more birthdays to come. Enjoy your special day, darling, to the fullest. Some my people put some birthday wishes in there for Yvonne Wright. That's why it's good to just take a little, you know, little time to read some comments before we get started while some others join in. But enjoy, darling. Put some comments. Uh, birthday wishes, my people. Oh, really, Gloria Jones? Another baby? When was when was that? Like imaginary one? Where did they come up with that now from? Where did, which magic hat did they pull that out of? Which trick? These people here. Which magician brought that one about? Jesus Christ. And another baby. Another baby girl. <laughs> okay. How could we miss that one? We didn't see when she was pregnant. Did you guys see anything? <sighs> wait, 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 wait. You mean she's pregnant? Wait, I'm confused. Because Gloria Jones said another baby girl. You mean she's pregnant now? I thought you meant another baby girl. So I'm your dear. Christina M is saying yes. Big man wife TV brought the good news. Congrats. Oh, so she's pregnant now. I'm sorry, Gloria Jones. I read your comment like it meant that people were saying that she had Another baby girl, because oh, they had like past things, you know. So having, oh, well, congratulations to Nancy. That's awesome. That's amazing. God is good. God is good. Glad to hear that. All right. Glad we got that one figured out the right way. I will be doing conkeys soon. Oh, Sophia Benson Carter, go ahead, darling. I love conkeys. Oh, that's awesome. Lithia, let me read this last comment, guys, and then we'll get started with this chat. We're chatting, right, about all the stories on the wheels on the wheels story going wrong here, wrong there, wrong there, wrong there, wrong there. So I just want to say something, to be honest, about some story and some post that somebody sent me as well. But Lithia said, bless and pleasant good morning to all. Praying that you all had a restful week, wonderful weekend, and is now looking forward to a very safe and productive week. Amen. Ahead. Blessings in abundance with much love. Thank you, darling. Right back to you as well and to everyone. Thank you so much for that. All right, my people. I know. All right, guys. I'm not going to read no more comments because then I'm going to be over here reading, 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 reading comments, right? I see all of your amazing, wonderful comments. But I also want to check one thing before I start speaking as well today. One moment. Let me refresh this phone here so make sure that we all on the same page. Oh, my God. My head hurts. Oh, guys. Oh, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. We got 175 people on here. I'm hurting. Take a look at the likes. It's terrible, guys. What's happening? The likes are terrible. Nobody else contributed to the stars. Jesus, this is not a good way to start a Monday. This is terrible. <laughs> Let me give it another second more. Let me see. Let me refresh because I think that my eyes are deceiving me. I wanted to be surprised. I wanted to be happy. I wanted to start my new week off happy and, and say, wow, you guys did it. Now I'm so sad. <laughs> I don't think I can continue this life. <laughs> it's not good. I'm saying the same thing every day, every day. <laughs> Y'all gonna start missing me in a few weeks, I'm telling you. No, no likes on the video. What's going on? I mean, let me refresh it. I'm sorry. Let me look at it one more time. I think it was just my eyes. Let me look at it again. It gone up a little bit now since I cried. We got like 30, 30 people there. But we need some more, guys. Come on, put the likes on the video, man. Come on, it's Monday. Should be happy and cheerful. Should be liking this video that Sweet Peach actually came out here today. Like the video. She didn't have to come out here 
and talk about this story that's going wrong, like wheels on wheels on the cars and the buses and everything. Come on, man. Like the video. Jeez. Thank you for those that liked the video. But those that didn't, mm, it's not good. You're not playing fair. I'm very, very sad. Like the video. Okay, so let me check it one more time. I want to be shocked this time. One last time, guys. I'm sorry. Hey, let's check it one last time. It's looking much better, much better, much better. But we can still get some more to like the video. Okay, my people, let me do this quick. So, mm -mm -mm -mm. <sighs> let me take a deep breath, okay? When I say that today, truly, the wheels on the story keep going wrong and wrong and ring, wrong and wrong and out of circle, okay? This is what I want to say today. Because I saw comments, well, mostly comments and screenshots that people, that were sent to me. And I want to say something today, truly, to, this is to Jebel, to be real, to be honest, for real, real, real. So the latest thing that I saw is where she is basically talking about her resume and maybe like a, a year or whatever, or seven months, eight months of a gap in her resume that she doesn't have to account for because neither of these parents want to do something, something, something. Helen Small, thank you so much for 200 stars, darling. I appreciate you. Neither parent, she wouldn't be able to get a reference from either parents or something along that line, right? So today, I just want to say here today, honestly, right? Think about this here, so Miss Jebba, if you listen to this video, right? You met this man on Tinder. It's not like you met this man through an agency that you apply for a babysitting job. You know what I mean? You met the man on Tinder. Do you know how many people out there in the world that have five year, three years, two years gaps in their resumes? Because life happened. They had a baby. Maybe they took some time off to travel, travel the world. You know what I mean? For like three months, four months, five months. And that's a gap in the resume, right? Because if they put on the resume that they work for this company and they stop working for them September 2023, and then life happens. They went to Africa for six weeks. Or maybe they went to Europe for three months. They visited family. They did all of these things. And then a year later, they decided to look for a job. So that's a gap in their resume, absolutely. But they can say straight and plain, I took that time off if anybody asks. Why weren't you working since last year, September? Blossom, thank you so much for 200 stars. Why weren't you working since last year, September? Well, I took some time off. I was traveling. I went here, I went there, I went there. You don't got to show them your passport or your tickets of where you've been. Hello? Like, seriously. So to me, using that as a, oh, a gap in my resume, like, hello, do you really think that Cora owes you anything? K.O. do not owe you nothing. She's not responsible for the gap in your resume. She did not send you over there to that house. And even truly, why would you even want anything from that person? Anyways, he going to tell the people that you stole. You don't need nothing from either parent, especially K.O. Because you did not work for her. You did not work for her again. You provide services to her ex where her children were there at times and you help take care of them, whatever the case may be. But she does not owe you anything. So when you go around writing comments, writing comments of you can get um, not even a reference or whatever from night of parent, why would you even bring KO into that? You did not work for her. She did not hire you under any circumstances. So for you to go and tell anybody out there that, yeah, I babysat her kids, don't say it like that. You babysat the ex on the ex side. Yes, it's her kids as well. But she never initially hired you. She never called you and asked you for services. Don't get it twisted. Instead of putting it out there, but you can't get a reference from neither of the two of them, like, excuse me, Sarah, when I read that part, I was like, no, be realistic, okay? I'm being realistic. This is me being honest and realistic. Kia do not owe you anything at all. Period, nothing. If you go to CPS and you report anything where her children are concerned, 
that could have been affecting her kids, then look at it as you did a good deed, which you were responsible for doing anyways. Because as long as you're in somebody's house and you're calling yourself a nanny, or you babysitting their children, it is your responsibility that if things happen in that house to those kids or around those kids that were not good for them, you should report it without expecting anything from the parents. You should report it without expecting anything at all. Anything. So to me, this going around with a story about this. And what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to lie about a gap in my, my resume? Well, Jesus, you won't be the first. You would not be the first. Many people out there put stuff on their resume that didn't even really happen. Don't you know that? This is the real world, girl. Wise up. This is the real world. Many people out there put crap on their resume when they ain't even what in the last two years or four years of their life. This reality life. Phyllis Davis, thank you so much for understanding. So to me, using that, commenting that all over the place, girl, mm, stop with that part. Yeah, stop with that part about your resume. And should you, would you lie on your resume or put a gap? Hey, you lie about other stuff before. You ain't in serve a woman that ain't even do you nothing. That had nothing to do with you and what the man in the house is talking about. So wasn't that, that dishonest? You were not a server, a regular server, but you did his dirty work. So leaving a gap of six months, eight months for your resume, so what? Uh, life happens. If the people ask you, tell them the truth. You weren't working because you did not have a stable home or place to live. And you were moving between cities, whatever. But if it was me, just give me an FYI. Just say that you were traveling, girl. You went to visit family, friends. You took time off. Oh, you took time off for your mental health. But don't tell them that because then the one will hire you. But my whole point is that be realistic. All right? Start using all these little things as excuses. Just be done with it. Be done with it. And go and do something else at this point. In my opinion, okay? I'm not telling you not to vent. But don't vent and put K on name in it. Don't vent and say, I can't even get a good reference from um, Night of the Parents. You may work for one parent. Make it make sense. I'm trying to understand it and wrap my damn brain around it every time I read that part. Just move on with that part of it. You know that you can't get a reference from him all together. You met him on Tinder. You did not meet him under regular circumstances. Just saying. So I would say, move on with that part. Be done with it. Because this story is just going to keep going wrong, 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 wrong. And people are going to just get tired of hearing the same thing over and over and over like a broken record. Tell your story. Tell your heart. Do whatever. But leave the children out of it if you're not going to do nothing to help them. Leave the mom out of it because she had nothing to do with you. Other than the encounter of you handing her papers to do his dirty work. That was it. Outside of that, she don't even know you. She don't know your name. Nobody knew you before anyways. I'm just saying. So whatever you got with him, deal with that. But don't keep going over the same things over and over and over. If you did not do anything, if you did not report to anybody to help the children, just be done with it, in my opinion. Because going around typing on the this blogger page, that blogger page, this body to justify yourself or, or to answer to people, it don't make no sense. Not at all. None. You could be doing something better. You could be fixing the resume and then potentially looking for the next step in your life. What are the next job that you're going to venture off to or what is next? Because it has to be a next step. What is next for you outside of this is the question, right? I see you guys put a lot of comments in here. Let me look at some of them because I may have missed some gaps. You know what I mean? These are things that came to me. I wasn't really out there watching. Uh, but let's go. Let's try to go back. Lord Jesus, so many things have passed. Phyllis St. Stars, thank you so much, darling. Thank you all for the one that St. Stars. Appreciate you all. So, mm, one moment. I don't want to miss... One moment, my people. All right. Too many comments that I don't need to read at the moment. One moment here, so... Mm. 
Okay, so Gloria Jones is saying, I went to bed 2 o'clock this morning. Uh, Jiba was typing on Miss Rosina Live last night. She was requesting but didn't get through. Really? <laughs> she was typing at 2 a.m.? Okay, so did somebody alert her that Rosina was on and they were conversating about her? Uh, I don't understand it. Like, uh, but you know, I'm not on the blue app like that. But okay, Jewelry John. So that's what I heard too. I woke up to a message like that as well, saying that she was over there typing, typing. And I don't understand really what they're typing at all, really. Truly, the, I don't understand it. Um, mm, so, uh, uh, Althea is saying good morning. I went over there and told her to leave Kia out of her mess. <laughs> oh, good for you. I would say that. We said that on Saturday as well, right? Because at this point, it don't make no sense. Because I, I want to know why would Kia need to give you a reference? Like, seriously, you did not do, you did not work for her. You did not provide any services for her. I'm just saying. And even though it was her children, she does not owe you nothing. Uh, Gazelle said, good morning, sweet peach and everybody. I finally managed to send coffee. I've been trying for a while. Did you receive it? Let me check, darling. I got to check on my other device because I don't get notifications. And let me tell you if your magic worked today, darling. One moment. Thank you so much for trying as well. Let me hold horses for one moment, my people. Ah, yes, Gazella. Thank you for the coffee. It came true, darling. Thank you, thank you. God bless you, darling. Appreciate you. It came true. Thank you. Uh, so Hazel is saying she served K.O. Papers on behalf of Chucky. Exactly. That's it for me. Enabler. Exactly. Because obviously if somebody asked you, drove you to go and serve the ex papers, you would have to know a little bit about what it's about. And why is he asking me to do this? You know what I mean? Like, why would I want to do your dirty work, buddy? So again, she doesn't owe you anything at all. Nothing at all. So to me, you should leave Kia name, talking about her children, anything related to Kia, you should leave it out of the picture with you and him. Deal with the situation with you and him and leave it alone. And even leave the children out of it at this point as well. Because F, and I say F because I don't know what you did, because I also saw somebody send me a comment where she stated in that she reported. So if you did report it, Thank you. You did the right thing. But again, they don't owe you anything at all. Kia, not her case, don't owe you anything. The other one, if you feel like he owe you something, then you deal with that side. You know what I mean? But you don't got to go around to everybody that is supporting Kia's uh, live video to be commenting. It don't make sense. And I just gave you the easy fix to redemp your resume. Resume gap of a year or whatever should not even be an issue. It shouldn't even be talked about. Because it don't make sense. People do it all the time, sweetheart. Okay? So, uh, oh, Lord, I'm going to botch your name. I'm so sorry. Nefer T. F oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nephi. Let me say Nephi. Okay? I'm sorry. That's so true, sweet peach. I give her the benefit of the doubt that she's talking about her own parents. Because if she's talking about K.O., she's wrong. Period. I'm telling you. Kale should not even be mentioned unless she says something about, oh, yeah, he had me going to serve Kale. Or he, she can just say he had me going to serve his ex or whatever, which you already said. But type in Cora's name. Putting it on your page about Cora's nanny, whatever, or Cora's kid. Oh, that's not called for. Because you got to realize that you and her will never be friends. Period. You will never cross paths with her to be her kid's babysitter in her house. None of them things. So I don't understand what's all the hype all about. And coming on social media and telling people about your resume, should you lie on your resume or whatever. I mean, you did worse, right? Living with him, you did a lot more. So what's a little gap? Just say the last time that you worked with somebody, you never got to put in his. Leave that gap out of there. You were traveling. You were doing things in your life at that point. Simple. It's that simple. Nobody shouldn't even got to tell you that. But I'm just saying it today because every time that I read that part, I'm just like, seriously, you ain't got to make excuses for nothing, darling. I see you in there, Mr. King, Raphael. Doing good, doing good. Hope you're doing good. 
All right, so let me move on here. So, uh, so Tina M said, let me expand it first. She said, I also told her to leave. Uh, Kia, okay, take you mean Kia, okay, Kia, out of her mouth. She was on Tinder, met him, agree on their relationship, whatever, right? Relationship, whatever. She went to an extent of pretending to mother their kids because they were in love. <laughs> maybe she, maybe she was in love and she thought that she was going to be the next, you know what I mean? Uh, she allowed him to use her for free, period. That's it. Because maybe the broken promises, the sweet talk that he gave her probably made her feel like, you know, this is somebody that I'm going to be with. I'm going to help raise these kids, teach them such and such when they're at his house and whatever. You know what I mean? So he's the one that deceived her. It had nothing to do with kill. He deceived you. You deal with him. Nobody will tell you not to deal with him. Nobody will tell you not to vent whatever you have inside. But at this point, to me, you should leave KO out of it. And even the kids as well. Because you didn't do the right thing by the kids, you know? Um, <laughs> JJ said that girl's still talking. She's still typing, you know? I mean, she's typing under somebody's video last night. 4 a.m. morning, I guess, because apparently it was 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Judy Cummins is saying it appears as if she wants to uh, bait Kale into talking to her. She is wasting her time. She thinks she is slick. I'm telling you, and that will never happen. And I don't know why she's even wasting her time. Anyways, even talking about this, because really and truly, where is it going to go? Where is it going to lead to? You're wasting time of your life. And I'm not saying that for your mental health, you cannot vent, you can vent. But going around now to people's live videos like that, that's reminding me of what he used to do. He used to go on people that supported KO and type with his fake pages. Type, 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 this, type, type, type. Are you going to become like him? No, you shouldn't. You got too much life ahead of you, darling. You're still young. Don't waste your time doing that. But again, if you want to vent about what happened, what he did to you, how he manipulated you, absolutely, you can get that off your chest. Do you have to come on social media to get that off your chest? Not really. You have a sister. I'm sure that you probably have friends. You can vent to them as well. But doing it over and over and over and over and over everywhere you go, it's not called for. And wanting to clear your name, clear yourself, you don't need to do that, darling, because you don't want nobody, nothing at all at this point. Just saying my own opinion. You don't want nobody nothing to clear your name, to claim yourself. It is what it is. To me, I would just move on with my life, period. But uh, Selma is saying, is this person right upstairs? Sound like her elevator is not working. <laughs> uh, maybe some parts, you know, she did admit, you know, certain things with her mental health. And, you know, she's a woman's corn at the moment. This man manipulated her. She really thought that... You know, things were going to maybe work out till she realized that he started bringing home women that he met on Tinder now. And she's like, wait, wait, what's going on here? Wait, wait, wait. I thought I was going to be the next mistress. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought I was going to be the, the next woman of this house. You know what I mean? But it turns out that what the heck? This man is bringing women here. Like, is he for real? Yes, that's probably when things start going sour. Just say in my opinion. But that's only my opinion. Margaret F. said, when she got her sweetness skill wasn't there, period, right? Period, period. So, Gloria said, um, she said she reported the incident to CPS in California. Do anyone believe her? Really? When? When is my question? Because still yet, somebody was saying the other day that she was saying that she'll be happy to send information to Kale. So if you reported to CPS, why would you need to send information to KL for? If you're saying that you did report, nobody knows. I don't know, Gloria Jones, to be honest. I don't know. Because allegedly, if I, Tina said on Saturday that she was saying that they said there's going to be a third part that she got more. What more can she got? I mean, only God knows, okay? That's their business. But I don't know what to say about that one, Gloria Jones. I don't know. Hmm, it all depends. Reported what? What did she report? 
that they were photos that were allegedly supposed to be sold to other people. I mean, we don't know, right? We don't know because this is the first time that I heard or saw that type of write-up as well. Somebody sent me a write-up where she was saying that she reported it, but I don't know. And Nitra said she made that deal with the devil, period, himself. She should got that before she left. It is so ironic how everybody still putting Kia in this mess. Yeah, you are right about that. And not only that, to be very honest, if she wanted to put on there that she babysat for him, she could still put that on her resume without even using a phone number or anything. You know how many people got things on their resume? And... The next job that you go to, don't even call some of these places. Don't even call some of these people. They just look at your resume and say, okay, you did this, you did that. Okay, the last family you worked for, okay. And they just keep it moving. You know what I mean? You don't need all of that. You don't need all of that. Let's see if it connects you. Really and uh, Simmons is saying sweet patient and he reported to the California CPS and police department on Rosen and FEMA last night. Oh, that's what she's saying. Oh, that's what she's typing. Okay. All right. Good morning, JJ. How are you, darling? Morning, sweet peach. Morning, family. Mm -hmm. Um, is that morning, Jebba. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Not I'm just light. coming here today to let you know that we were standing with you up to the point when you told us about the plug-in. I guess after the plug-in, we don't care again. <laughs> it, 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 it's, I will say that, it, Jill, that plug-in plug is between him and her. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, mean, I guess God. it can't stop now, you know? Yes. We the point. We see where you were going. We see everything now. You know? Mm -hmm. A mad black woman coming out to talk about her relationship that went sour. Oh, after eight months of putting in the work and mm -hmm. doing all the dirty things, doing all mm -hmm. the dirty work, picking up after the kids, trying to play a mother role. Mm -hmm. we, we get it. You know, we get, exactly. we get the point. So now, I guess it's time you pack up shop. Yeah. It, it, it gets steel, it gets watered down, mm -hmm. we don't care anymore. Uh, it is what it want, is. JJ, I want to tell her as well, if she want a reference so bad, reach out to her. Even the Moria could write you a reference, girl. You can tell the people that you was working for a Moria cleaning her house or somebody else in California. Jesus, if you're so desperate. She's oh, just coming up with month. something else yeah. um, mm. to make herself relevant. We get the point, girl. We know it how it goes. I mean, I mean, when somebody sell you a story, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, don't go like that, you get mad. All of us are women. Some people go through it, some don't. Right. Some people learn after half other people um experience. Mm -hmm. um, um, we get it. You were homeless. You swipe left or right. You get yourself in a situation, you work with it right. to a point where the person gets tired of you. Mm -hmm. They don't want, want your help anymore. Yes. You know, people people are like that exactly. in the real world. All that life. Yeah, people are like that. So we understand your pain, and I hope moving forward you learn. Exactly. You understand you are young. Things happen, and we move on. Mm -hmm. We learn from our mistakes, and we move on. Period. Life goes on. Yeah. You have a whole life ahead of you. And for me, I would say, come off of this dating site. You are beautiful. I mean, you're intelligent mm -hmm. somewhat. You don't need that for Period. a younger. True. You, you you say you have, I don't know what you have, subject-wise or experience. Get a job, you know, and start over mm -hmm. again. It will happen. Exactly. People start over in life. True. And it, and it works out for them. Stop dwelling on the past now. We get it. 
um, the kids are going to be okay, I guess. So next next page, I guess. I mean, Turn the page. come on, man. Turn the page in your life, right? Yeah, come on. It's, it's, it's over. The person come out don't care about nothing. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's like water under the bus. It's like nothing go going on. It's like, yeah, it's like nothing. Thinking, yeah. So, hmm. we're sorry that you went through it, but for the young people coming up, you people want life so easy, you know? Mm -hmm. You people want a fast money. You mm. want these dating apps, Date these guys you don't know. Um, when 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 the wrong things happen, it's true. You come out and you cry, you report, you do all these things. And for the twenty first century, now when so much things are happening, mm -hmm. I would advise young ladies stop going on. Is dating apps. It Maybe. could be worse. Exactly. It could be worse, you mm. know. True. Um. Listen, some of us are behaving like we are smart, but we are dumb. And mm. when things happen, that's the time when you cry. Mm -hmm. you, you're supposed to know by now. You can't, can't trust anybody that you meet on a app. Mm. Not everyone you meet on a hop you're gonna give them your heart and your soul because they can rip it apart mm -hmm. in a minute yeah, exactly. at least you get eight months with this person you know yeah. and i don't know if you were waiting on a ring or, hmm. or another baby or a baby or something <laughs> but, but oh, Jesus, if it baby. didn't happen mm -hmm. move on I'm count your you. losses and move on at least yeah. you, you, you could Go to another state at least start from scratch again true shake off yourself and move on stop going under people comments um people platform and speak about the same thing over people are gonna get I tired of you i'm telling you people are gonna get tired of you because if you slip up and say something mm -hmm. different from what you said before mm -hmm. people are gonna look mm -hmm. for you in, in a different light stop talking you know, the talking, not doing anything. It never not do nothing for the man over there. So, cause you plug him and we hear about the plugging and he come out strong. Like nothing. Let me say, I never plug him good enough. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. Didn't plug him good enough because he was like. Oh, no, I mean, no. we understand. We talk about it. We joke about it. But, see, Peach. Yeah. It is what it is. At this point, I guess she everybody's needs, safe. You need to stop using Kale's name and everything that she talk about. And you don't work for Kale. She don't want you not to. Be some people are obsessed. You think, you think some, listen, you see that girl? The moment that girl walk into that house, she know exactly what she was going into. You hear me tell her? Hmm. Because that man is a sissy man. So he will talk everything that he's going through. Hmm. And these women will go on their in their their platform, um, their social media, and search yeah. and look because it's something that is hot. You understand? Mm -hmm. So nobody can come tell me say, oh, they didn't know and they didn't this. They knew. True. And and this man, he might go want them on his side and exactly. put them against exactly. um kill. Exactly. So they can't come out and ball. Oh, I didn't know and I didn't this. Yeah. Shut up. You knew. Shut up. As soon as you ladies go into that house, you to know exactly what is going on. Because he's gonna he's gonna ask for sympathy and he wants everybody on his side. Mm. Because mm -hmm. there and then he wants everybody to hate this person. So he's gonna tell all the lies and come up with all the stories. So I don't know, people not think certain awareness with peach, because Nobody can't fool me right. just so. I'm telling you. No way. Heck no. Yes. Mm -mm. If I'm going to look after your kids, I'm going to want to know who, her, who is the kid's mother. True. You know? Yeah. They're going to want to know something. 
Especially what when happened? he compare all these derogatory names, W, in front of the kids and all of that. We'll be like, what the hell going on? Like, this, this is not right. Yeah. You know? We understand. So you never know, say to the work out this way. And as someone stay in a real life job, if you don't know, at least you learn little, little. The man that will feel you believe in yourself and don't believe in no man. Exactly. You know, yeah. expect anything from a man. Then we say, then mm -hmm. love you today and tomorrow. You wonder what mm -hmm. went wrong. Exactly. Was that, did I come out that same person mouth, right? Yeah. So, it happened. Mm -hmm. Maybe promise you the house we're living now. Maybe <laughs> being tell you say me not go buy the car and you not go go in at the sunset and right. it never happened. Exactly. That's how men are. Exactly. Because if you know that um after having his mm -hmm. his last kid, he walk out on his wife. Exactly. Why, why you think him not go run the wall out of friend run him when he get frustrated? True. Move on. move on man mm -hmm. stop, stop crying and moping around because it's not worth it no not at all not at all all right sweet peach thank you darling that's okay. fun. i hope she listened right yes uh, well she was up <laughs> she was up late last night when rosina typing is what i'm hearing so maybe she's still sleeping but i hope she listened to the video we're giving you a fix it darling huh i'm sorry see peach okay, okay. I'll, I'll call you back i'm oh, leaving work oh, yeah. mm -hmm. okay all right darling all right thank you jj on point on point we give me your fix it for your resume concerns that you concern about easy fix it and I just see somebody put it in there as well that she says she has a bachelor's degree. Really? I would have never thought that. Because Montaigne right now, everybody that book smart, not street smart. There's two differences, right? Some people are book smart, but they're not street smart. But I'm giving you a fix sick today of how to fix your resume. Because you were so concerned about this gap in that space of time that you was at his house. Hello, life happened to you. Realize that life happened to you you were homeless you had no place to live right so uh, even if you had a job what you how are you gonna do what are you gonna do you would have to work and get some money from that job first before you could get a place even if it was an airbnb or whatever but my whole point is life goes on it happened to a lot of people there's people who are working they went on maternity leave and then they decide oh my god my baby is so precious how can i leave my baby i need to stay at home more and they decide they're going to take another year or two off to watch their children child grow. So hello, they had that gap to account for, right? They had a baby, they took time off. You had a baby, but you could still take time off as a person because some nice people need personal time off to themselves. That's simple. So all these little things that you worry about is frivolous, in my opinion, okay? Deal with this situation on ground go on with your life find another job if you have a bachelor's degree if you do have it that means you should be able to get a good job you should be able to find a job without a problem don't go and be looking for a job and be concerned about your mental health and what a white man did to you and girl that's how they want you to be stick there on the bottom no take a page of the kills book don't talk about her but take a page out of her book and move on move on we move and because we move, you can move to younger stay there and the same thing going around typing on people page. Let me see who was talking about me today. And let me go and defend myself of why I didn't clean the house or why the house was dirty or why this or why didn't I go and do this? No, don't live your life like that, girl. Just telling you today, because again, you will continue to go round and round and round in a circle and ain't gonna leave you nowhere. All it might lead you to is a mental institution. And you're too young for that, to be called upon a man that was not really your man to begin with. You met him on Tinder. You know what I mean? It's a dating app, dating site. Get off of them dating site. You can read it, meet a real man in person in the grocery store, somewhere, somewhere, wherever. You could be walking in Manhattan, Brooklyn, wherever, and meet a man that just 
Stubby ask you some talk to you. I mean, you don't got to meet men on dating apps. Oh, Jesus. Lord have mercy. But heal, heal, heal. Okay, ladies. Uh, Lucille say, how can we, how can you give someone a reference when, when hey, firstly, you don't know the person and neither did you hire her. Make it make sense. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> how can you? That would be like a makeup reference because truly the person they hire you through agency, they didn't hire you through the right process. Y'all met on Tinder and not that really matter where you met, but I'm just saying that technically you really weren't really a babysitter by law, nanny by law for him. You were doing other services, other things, even though his dirty work, he drove you to serve his ex. You were just I don't even know what the name to come up with to call you because you were doing it all. You were doing it all. Whether it was servicing him and whatever way he needed, you were doing it all. A little bit of everything, right? So you don't need that kind of reference, darling. No, you don't. Just stick. You had personal time off. You took some time off because you were moving between cities. You were in California, you moved back to New York. That's time off, you know, to do your own personal stuff. So that's all you need. Don't make it a big issue, dear heart. But Shirelle is saying Kia did not hire her. Therefore, Kia is not under no obligation to give her reference or anything else for that matter. Period. Exactly. Exactly my point. You could tell people out there, oh, yes, I babysat her kids, but it was her ex that I worked for. He's the one that I babysat the kids while they were at his house. You know what I mean? So that way you don't make people be on the impression that you babysat for Kale in her house and that she owes you anything. No, don't twist it. Don't get it twisted. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Nobody bashing you. We're just trying to get you to look at things realistically. You understand what I mean? The mistake you made with him, getting to know him, meeting him, that was your mistakes there. So doing everything else, those were your mistakes. Because, hello, you should have saw from the first thing he asked you to do something outside of babysitting, you already see what I was going on. But at least you were okay with it at that time. It's just that now you realize that he used you. Um, you probably realized that when he started bringing other women into the house. You realize that he's just using you. So whatever happened there, so darling, that's between you and him. Just saying. Uh, Maria Yes, I see. Cheryl says, Simply Sweet Peach, she came to respond to my comment, your comment. She later said she didn't know it was a live video. Really? Jesus, take the wheel. So I'm assuming that that was on the Rosina um, one. Lord have mercy. She thought it was a replay. <laughs> she was replaying the video. Lord Jesus. Mm. <sighs> For it, Alexandra said, I think she's on D R U G S. I think they all are. Him, her, and then to each his own, right? Whatever they do in their life, whether they vet, smoke, whether that's their business, nobody cares. But don't put blame on nobody else. Don't go around attacking other people for their opinions. Because in life, people have their own opinions. And you can't stop them from having their opinions. You understand? And it just say, how can you give someone references that you did not witness the care of your children, period. She's just trying to keep relevant, going on different platforms, getting coffees. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Like to me, at this point, it don't make no sense no more. We are happy that you came out and exposed him. But when you start trying to to put your name and everything and then post and then this and then, no, you're going too far on that part. No, you're going too far, okay? You don't need to do that. If you want to tell the law that he used you to go serve his ex, you can tell them that. You can tell anybody that. But don't make him be part of anything that you're doing because she wasn't there from the beginning. She still isn't. You know what I mean? Uh, Sandra Green is saying, this girl is looking eh, from... Cora, uh, okay, she's looking fame from Cora by using her name. She could have done her job and didn't say a thing, but I guess she take evidence thinking Kiel could just jump and be her friend. I don't, uh, 
I don't know what you even think that, right? That's cuckoo thinking. Just my opinion, period. Because anybody that's associated with him in any way possible, even if I was his ex, if I was in Kyoshu, anybody associated with him, I didn't even want them to do it. I didn't even want to see them people name on paper. I don't want to hear about them people. Them people could never come in my circle ever. Just saying. No way. Mm -mm. Uh, Margaret Williams is saying, how she expecting to get reference from Keel when she was not in her house working for her? I'm telling you. Because she did that comment I read, it did say that. Where she's saying something about, you know, she can't get re um, a reference from none of the two parents or something along that line. I thought to myself, what? Girl, seriously. Jesus. Oh. Uh, Tina M is saying she don't think that she reported it. See, and that's your opinion. That's your honest one opinion. So a lot of people can say the same thing. People have their opinions and they can opinionate on anything they want to. Uh, uh, Nefi said it's okay. Bosh, no, go through. <laughs> I know, right? Sorry, darling. But Doris is asking, did she not take take and kill's name down yet? I don't know. I haven't even been back over there so, to see if she took it down or if it's still up there. I have no idea. I don't know. But Lucina saying, I think Amora needs to give her another interview and set the record straight with her. Truly, I would if it was me, you know, just sit up. I have a few questions. Did you ever report this, anything related to the kids or the kids' well-being or what you saw over there that could be detrimental to the kids? Did you report it to CPS? Yes or no? Okay, no, yes, whatever. I will stick more to the kids. You know what I mean? Because he's not even important. That man do not care. That man ain't got no shame. That man himself already got issues and problems already, right? So nothing that she come out here and say Ain't going to bother him because he already ain't right up top. You know what I mean? But to me, yes, I would answer the answer to those questions. Say, look, my honest opinion on what you should do here next is just move on with your life. Honestly, you, you seem to be an intelligent girl. Just find another job. Just move on and do something better for yourself. You know what I mean? Just give her that straight up like a parent would. Don't let her waste her time back and forth on the social media, running all around like a circus, like a merry-go-round for a reason. It don't make sense. You know what I mean? That's why when I heard that she was typing on the Rosina's video last night, I was like, what? For a reason. You know what I mean? I went over there and I started watching and listening a little bit, but you know me, I ain't get through much of it. But I saw a few of her comments, like she were answering back to people. But like I said, the video was showing four hours and 55 minutes. So you know that I ain't got that kind of time. I ain't even getting even close to an hour or even 45 minutes. Good. <laughs> Good afternoon, your time, Cece. How are you? Good afternoon, our time, our evening already. Good evening. Yes. <laughs> hey. Everybody has been saying that they, there is no afternoon in the UK. So, oh, yeah. Lord. Good Yes, it's either good morning or it's good evening. Look how dark it is already. <laughs> oh my God! Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Um, sweet peach. Mm -hmm. um, Najiba did not come to answer anybody but me because she saw it on Saturday. What we were saying here. Yes, mm. she saw when we were saying that you should go straight. Yeah. To the popo and report this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to go and report everything that has happened yeah. to go uh, first of all hello everyone i hope you're doing fine hello hope you had a lovely weekend sorry where are my manners yeah yes yeah. so so um yes she saw when we were saying that thank you very much we appreciate you coming coming to tell us what you want to tell us yeah. but at this moment would rather that you go to the police because mm -hmm. all of what you have said you have exp expressed it enough we yes. are all, we have all heard what you want to say how it happened to you there and um and you know we said that we don't feel that she came to talk to us because she loves the kids mm -hmm. we feel that she came to talk to us because she feels scorned yeah. she feel hurt yeah. okay 
Yes. Yeah, that's exactly what I particularly said. Mm -hmm. And we yes, and we said that instead of her coming to read Facebook libraries and all the bloggers on Facebook going to all of their platforms, yes. one place she can go and express her love for the kids is directly to CPS right. and to the Popo. Exactly. Right? You're right. Two days, or not two days, the next day, maybe like 36 hours later. But yeah, because it was yeah, last night that she was... It was Saturday afternoon. When we did a video, yeah. Yeah, it was Saturday afternoon. And then, Saturday, is it clean? Saturday, Saturday mm -hmm. afternoon, we talked about yeah. it. Hi. Sunday midnight, I'm talking now about our time. Yeah. You are there expressing that you have reported this and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. First of all, this is Facebook. We like proof. Sure. You got to show receipts. Receipts. Whenever you make a statement with the Popo or with the CPS, they give you a number. Yeah. Let us see that number. Number, let people check on True. them. Let people confirm. When you make a report to the purple, they give you, hi, Vani, how are you? They give you a number, a receipt, a case number. Case number. CS number, yes, a case file number. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Let us see that. Even if you didn't go to them, even if you sit down in your house and you type it out, right. there is going to be a number. That means that there's been a registration of the matter. Yes. So, first, so let us see proof. Sure. And just, just, um, should I say two hours after you were in um, in uh, Rosina's life? Uh -huh. Two hours after you were in Rosina's life, what went out that you went to your live to your page and you ranted that's what yes. it's someone sent me those screenshot as well all of those things you said they're nice they're good but did you see again mm -hmm. you're a very intelligent girl mm -hmm. go back Najiba read them and ask yourself where these statements that I'm making on behalf of the kids whom you confess that you love so much. Mm -hmm. Were those statements on behalf of the kids? They don't sound like they were on behalf of the kids. Mm. They sound exactly what you said when you got scorned by Mr. Mm -hmm. J. Mm -hmm. How did you get scorned by Mr. J? Mm. By him sending you out. By him leaving you instead of going with you and making you his full time babe, he moved on to go to new avenues. <laughs> right. Now, exactly. Like you already said, fans of Cora are not interested in hearing what you have to say unless it has to do with the kids. And not only with the kids, with. You're right. With the kids, yeah, and Kevo herself, and at this moment, all the statement you made does not involve Kevo exactly the safety of her kids, it yeah. involves how you came to tell us what you chose to tell us, mm -hmm. and how we reacted towards it. Well, you see, there are people who have been saying that. Chaos fans are just anything you will say, they are gullible, they will jump on it. But now you have learned the lesson that no, they're not like that. They will ask for receipts. True. We will not get carried away with any Tom, Dick, and Ari saying what they have to say. Exactly. Yeah. You are so you show us receipts that you reported. Even if you show us reports that you reported. Yeah. How did you help the kids? True. You could have gone there to report what happened to you. True. And 
not what happened at that house while you were there and how it would have hurt the kids. Exactly. You are right about that. You could have gone there to report that I didn't, I work and I didn't get yeah. paid. And then uh, you could go to International Labor Organization and report that too. Yeah, you are right. It has nothing to do. So you expecting this, this massive expectation hmm. of what what you came to talk about mm -hmm. is crazy. Mm. This massive expectation is not working. True. You are right about It's not that. working. Because you cannot be on Rosina's page one minute talking to Rosina and saying all of the things you said, regretting all of the things, and not get angry that what did I even say? Mm -hmm. I was there. You are you, you are there? That's the time I wake up. I'm always awake oh, around yes, that. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. The time is uh, mm -hmm. several hours while she was on. Oh, no, okay. It was 5 a.m. I even wrote it on Rosina. I said, no, 6 a.m. I said, Rosina, it's 6 a.m. Because we were even talking about, uh, about the kids and uh, I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> woke up i'm hungry okay yeah and we were all talking yes we were talking about it there so what you trying to what this girl najiba is trying to prove mm -hmm. trying to prove a point that we should embrace her for having come out what, why? What, why why i have not heard what? anything that she has done to help for these kids oh, in the beginning in the beginning, you were not there for Ko. Yes, you did not find out what happened. True. You did not find out. And the thing, she said something blatantly crazy. I forgot to mention that. She said she couldn't go to the popo on time because she wanted to make sure about who was telling the truth whether Keo was telling the yes so she wanted to evaluate who was was saying the truth or not eh? what what oh, she i to... called tina to i had to google. call tina i said tina come because i know that tina would have been awake well if she was not awake i will call her she wrote, she wrote down she wrote down, rosina bitch. She wrote down rosina bitch. what the hell she wanted to make sure and then i said it, what are you now the judge to arbitrate what? are you are you are you here now to come and judge who is the right person or not for you to go and take sides See? and then I, that's when i said that it was not for you it was not your responsibility to take no. sides oh what the hell it was your responsibility but I couldn't type a lot because you know when you just wake up, you you tired and but I just had to write it. It's not your responsibility to take sides. What the heck, my God! And you know, Rosina is somebody who is very very calm and calculated. Mm -hmm. She will listen. Yeah. And at the end of it, she will make her comments. She will make her remarks to end the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It was just the truth. It's just, I don't want to say this thing, but I'm going to say it right here because it's just being a busy body. Mm. You know, when a busy body thinks that I'm going to blow this whistle and everybody's going to come and look at me and clap for me, yeah. but they're not cheering me on. They're not clapping for me. We are not clapping for you because we didn't hear you talk about our interest. True. Exactly. Our interest is Keo and her kids. And you went there. You saw what happened. Yes. And you followed this man yep. to make him give you a letter. Mm -hmm. A legal document that you were to go and deliver exactly on his behalf for him. Yeah. You can jump here as much as you want. I want you to understand that you did a betrayal. True. Facts. It was a betrayal. 
Like, and now you think that as soon as you switch sides, mm -hmm. we are going to come here and start saying that, yes, oh yes, we welcome you. Yes, people have indeed welcomed you. People have indeed listened to you. People have indeed gone to hear what you have to say. They have embraced you. Exactly. But this is as far as it goes. It's not going to go further than that because we had to push you. If at all you did go to the Popo or to CPS, we had to push you. We had to talk a lot of things to you before you went. It's not as if you got up and say, oh my goodness, what is this house? Children should not live in this house. Oh my God, call the purple yeah. now. You didn't. Exactly. It's because you, you got hurt. Yeah. It's exactly what they call conspiracy. Mm. Exactly, mm -hmm. Hazel. Hazel has just said it. You were one of the enablers. True. Exactly. You enabled somebody to hurt another person. It's mm. a criminal offense. Mm -hmm. It's a criminal offense. It's a crime. Right. You took your hands and you went and delivered that letter. What does that mean to you in your mind? So you getting upset and you ranting that people are not taking you serious, people are not listening to you, people are did it. Well, we did listen to you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes, we did. No. We did listen to you, but we found out that what you were saying does not express our interest. Protection of the girls. Yes. Protection of the girls. And more protection of the girls mm -hmm. do you get it you will think that people who came here you think that Cora's uh, supporters are mostly here because we want to say oh yes Cora go and fight your husband and leave the marriage and do you think that that's what the, this is all about mm -hmm. it's not mm -hmm. big news no. it's not it's about the kids exactly if you think that most of what people, if you think, if you were of the camp that was calling us JJ haters, we are not JD haters. No. No. If we were JD haters, we would have come to fight for you. We're not and we not haters. We would have fought for everyone that JD has had a problem with. We would have fought for the lady with the dog. We would have fought for the lady with the blabber mouth. We would have fought for the lady who thinks that she's working at an airport. Mm -hmm. we, exactly. We would have fought for all of these people. We would have fought for that for that other lady that uh, you cannot even shove her through a normal size door. They have to give her a special kind of house which has extended doors. <laughs> we would have fought for all of these people. But no, you should have seen by now that these people's concentration is on the kids. Exactly. And up to now, the kids have not got justice. You, you, madam, on the other hand, you could have aided that justice. But yeah, you wouldn't because you concentrate just like your co-conspirator, you concentrate on you. Right, right, exactly. You need to go and look me up. I know you're going to say, who is this one talking? I don't even know. I've never heard about her. I've never seen her. Yes, I don't go to people's pages. Oh gosh, Jesus. I don't go to people's she pages. Been, she been, if she, I tell she, you. She been here she already, been, remember? Uh, oh, the day she was here, I did not comment. I was not on this live. You were part, You that it was on our freestyle. You were there speaking, but she commented after we got off. Huh? You wouldn't be, I don't go to people's pages. I have not been to all of these people's pages we're talking about. Yeah. None of them. Me so either. don't expect me to come to your page and don't expect me to know you because I'm not here to talk for anybody but the kids. Exactly. 
through you going to answer are you going to rant and get upset that people are not here for people are not listening to what you have to say we did listen that's not true we did listen all of us ran to amara all of us ran to income all of us ran and you last night did not used to come to rosina by the way right right you were a guest Guest in Rosina. If Rosina had told people that Jiba was going to come, everybody would have come and listened to the rest of what you have to say. But we went there, and all of what you had to say, madam, mm -hmm. was how scorned you are feeling. You did not say that, hey, people, I have come to Chorus Platform. How are you, people? Hope you're doing well. How are the kids? I miss the kids. Did we hear that from you yesterday in Rosina's platform? We didn't hear that from you. No. Sorry about that, Tippy. We didn't hear that from you in Rosina's platform. We what we kept was exclusive about yourself right. and how you feel scorned and how how you did you you had to decide when somebody asked you said well why didn't you go all this time to the pew mm -hmm. and you said you had to see who was saying the truth right. you know how that hurt that hurt so much yeah. and for a young woman like you you may not have had kids but you went through this hmm. congratulations nancy you went through this you saw it so you should have first-hand experience of knowing how the children are going to feel in a hostile hmm. environment exactly. and i want to tell you something i've got news for you madam jiba najiba and Najiba, you don't know that you are in a hostile environment, right? You don't know that. You don't recognize that? You think that people here are just gullible enough to just say, oh yeah, she came to say the da 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 will all rush to you? Mm -hmm. No. You are just like you thought that your stepfather or who, whatever person was in part of your family was a hostile person you are also hostile to chaos kids mm. you are yeah. do you know why you are hostile to chaos kids you are not their biological mom and you were brought there to represent her mm -hmm. would mm -hmm. you accept anybody to 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 take your children your future children would you want to be represented to your future children and madam najiba you said something that justin said that everybody should be the children should call everybody mom one thing you have not said mm -mm. whether the kids called you mom true come here and say it that you did tell the children not to call you mom did you do that i'm not sure you didn't say that mm -hmm. You said that the kids, were, uh, Mr. J, did not get upset when the kids were calling every black person mom. Yeah. You were also there. Yeah. You were representing their mom. So mm -hmm. could that have meant that they called you also mom? Yeah. And when they called you mom, did you tell them, don't do that, I'm not your mom? You came here and you told us about that person who told the kids not to call her mom. That mm -hmm. person was right, Najiba. Mm. That person was right, I... Najiba. And do you know why I'm calling you Najiba? Because that's your actual name. And we are yet to find your identity. I am one of the people that think that you are not from Haiti, that you have an African. Yes. See, see, see. Oh, okay. You no, no, have I, an African. Okay. You have an African connection mm -hmm. because that name you are claiming is called Najiba. Yes, with an N. Mm -hmm. 
and end maybe she has and J and it's short for Geneva. Sonia, thank you so much for no, it, it's not short for Geneva. There is a whole name to that. It's the mother of Geneva. No, mm -hmm. I said that was, I said maybe one parent is African and maybe the other one is Asian. Wow. She has to tell because we are still watching. I am still watching. It's only one place in this world that name comes from, and that's from the Gambia and Senegambia. Those two countries only mm. have that name. Mm. So, I see. Geneva. so tell us. Keep talking. We are listening. Mm. Only two countries have that name. Mm -hmm. Najiba. Najima, mother of Geneva. You will tell. Yes. No, her name is not Arabic. No. No, it's not. No. It's um, African. No. No, I don't want you to get it confused. Her name is not Arabic. These are one of the traditional names. Geneva is a name that is an offshoot from Zainab. Right. Zainab became Zainabu. Became the lower you go from from the northern side of the Arab side, the lower you go. That is mm -hmm. how the names get changed. That's why you hear me. I am my normal name is Khadija, Khadija. But then it goes down to Khadija too. And when it comes to my country, they don't call it Khadija too. They call it Kadia too. It all has to do with the the accents of the people who are there. So please. Mm -hmm. And Najiba is a love, is a name of love. It means my mother's, the mother of Geneva. And it comes from those two, those two areas, the Senegambia, Senegal and Gambia. They have those names. So let's forget about that. Let's come back to who these people keep thinking that the whole world is is not watching right god for you the world is watching and people know a lot more mm -hmm. than you know true okay but you are a little girl thank you you are a little girl, you know, a little girl. people like me do not go to your platform i do not find your trouble i do not look at what you're saying except it has to deal with kill yeah the kids exactly and if the kids haven't got justice and you are the go-to person who first and was there to see what happened to those kids i mm -hmm. urged you on saturday to go to the police and you still you do you've told us that you have gone to the pay so please come now give receipts because we don't believe you we don't get carried away so easily to say yes you Bring did this whole thing of going from one platform to another platform is getting old i did not watch the lady that she was talking about because me i was deep in sleep me too. I, so, um, I um, um, you know, maybe if I'm not busy today, then I'll go watch her. It is getting but, old in a way that it was only in the comments, though, Edwina. So she wasn't actually like on the person live, like she was just typing in the comments. It's still getting old. I, no, trust me. Because why doing all of this stuff yeah. when you could have easily? Look, I don't know anything about Ab, you understand? I don't know anything about that. But if you see that this is happening to kids that cannot speak for themselves and you were there, when you were younger, they would always Thank say, you. if you see Sorry. something, you. if you see something, you must say something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And her typing going on platform is not helping those children. Because at the end of the day, they are still in there. Mm -hmm. 
We are not trying to take the kids away from their father, no. Because every child needs to know who their father is. But if, if the father is not putting the best interest of the kids at the front, mm. the kids does not need to be around that person. Period. In that capacity. Exactly. They they can be around him on visitation but you know yeah for them to be left with him Mm -hmm. it should not be that is one and this going from platform to platform talking commenting whatever it is not helping nope if if you truly as um you know cc has said if you truly love those kids take action compile your evidence the one that is related to the children exactly you 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 you, um call the non-emergency line for the you know the popo in that area Mm -hmm. and then you tell them hey I lived in this person's house and I feel that these kids, blah, 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 blah. I have evidence to show. Is there a way or there an email address I can send my evidence to? So right. you guys can investigate it to make sure that these, these, these kids are safe. Mm-hmm. All, all of these nannies, they have failed these children because they kept quiet and and coming on this social media is not going to help until you who witness it say something to the right authority sure we we cannot go to the authority and say based on what um right. lady lock said a b no we can't do that because we were not there she was there you were you there. were there what you are going to say would hold more weight exactly than what we would say mm-hmm. because we, we are going off on what you said yeah. okay so you know basically it's a hearsay and it doesn't hold weight except if you were there you witness it then 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 in you know, the weight is on you Mm-hmm. So you cannot. It is not about chorus. Um, 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 um. You know, people liking you. No, you did not come here for, for um. You know, chorus. Um, you know, people to like you. True. You came here to tell the truth. But what? telling the truth, you must take action. And. When you have taken action, you can come and say, Hey, I have taken action. No, no, no. Not when. When um the police are doing the investigation, when they are in the middle of the investigation. Yeah. Because because if you come and say, Hey, I've taken action, that man would um, begin to tr- try to you know, change his ways. True. Don't say nothing until they have gone to his house they see what his house looked like firsthand without him not being aware of it or him being tipped off tipped off of it and then he will clean and then start acting like he is the father of the sanctuary no when um, they've gone to his house they see his house they know what's going on in his house and then mm-hmm. you can come and say hey i did take action and he's been investigated. They have gone to his house previously and they found some things and I cannot talk about it right now until the investigation is over. But I can talk about me and him relationship. Mm-hmm. That you know, yeah, would have been way much better mm-hmm. in in my opinion. But you coming out here and jumping from platform to platform. And- it makes you look like you are chasing clout and people are not going to take you seriously. Hmm. It makes you look like uh, you um, want to um, um, in a muddy this guy's name. 
That, that is not what we want. We, we are not interested, as I mean, as sister said, in um, in um, you know, mud in his name no. or saying anything that is untrue about him. We are only interested in the truth and in the protection of those children because those kids cannot speak for themselves. When when um, they can speak for themselves, then we are going to back off and let them do the talking for themselves. And we would only support them and that's it. But now, everything is in your hand so if i was you as my youngest sister because i cannot say the year i can give birth to you i would need to start in a year um um and i'm single digits <laughs> uh, so, yeah, i take you as my youngest sister okay you need to do the right thing if you, you don't want to make a report then you need to be quiet it's that simple you have to be quiet mm. and it is not about oh i i gave the evidence to ko ko did not witness nothing ko was not in the man's house when um 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 a stranger was basically showering her daughter. Mm -hmm. Kayo was not in the man's house when her daughter's room looks, you know, you know, looks like filth. Yeah. Kayo was not there. You were there. You saw it. You saw the the I'm the living condition. You saw what the kids were eating. You had a conversation with this man to try to get him to do better. But this man does not want to do better for those children. So please, we are not coming down at you. We, we are we are urging you to do the right thing. You said you love those kids and you want to be in those kids' lives. If you love somebody, you will protect them by doing the right thing. It never These kids cannot talk for themselves. You know what if in five years' time, Juni comes on this um internet and they start talking about how one of her daddy friend did something to her. How would you feel, Najiba? Hmm. Could I say something? Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Lady mm -hmm. how are you? Okay, could I just say something? Yeah, darling. All right. Najiba, her approach was wrong in the beginning. We all know that she should have went to the authorities. True. Okay, the young lady, she was a little confused because she was fighting with herself to try to do the right thing. She made a point last night mm -hmm. when she was trying to figure out who was right and who was wrong, which that shouldn't have been the issue, but this is what she had said. Mm -hmm. I picked it up. I knew that she was confused by what she said. She did go to the authorities, according to her, she did call to the authorities <laughs> in California. I asked her, did she have a, a complaint number? She said that she had it. Now, I'm not sure if it's true, but if she did it, I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. Because for the simple fact is, I sat there and I evaluated this whole thing. I went from Amora's platform to the other bloggers platform mm -hmm. and listened to her very carefully. Yeah. Yes. So with her disclosing a lot of things, it was good in one way, but at the same time, she was delaying to re make the report. True. That's what I could not understand. Yes. So I said to myself, I said, let's see if she do it and give her the benefit of the doubt. Because I'm open-minded, you understand? Because right. people don't do things the way that we want. We got to understand that everybody is totally different and everybody's going to have their opinions. And I listened <laughs> to 
uh her on the live i've listened to you guys uh you know this morning right but i'm gonna look at it as being open-minded because for the simple fact is she partially she did fail the children because she should have reported it right then and there don't get me wrong Mm -hmm. She should have reported it right then and there because when you see something, you say something. That is the law of the land. Mm -hmm. But like I said, she's young and she never really went through this situation before. So I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt until she get her thoughts together. Because mm -hmm. see, people could talk and everything like that. But like I said, she's struggling because like I said, she was living in that house. She didn't expect what she expected. Mm -hmm. to happen okay so unfortunately she had to leave but at the same time being that she left in september that's the first thing she should have did was report it but you know what the date the delayed reaction we don't know exactly what's going to happen because right. she, you know she has to be able to show proof that she did it she have to be because they give her a case number mm right yes so you know by her, you know her coming on um miss rosina's platform we were shocked we were shocked because we didn't expect her to be there but she came i was shocked when i heard that she was there too typing yeah mm -mm. so miss rosina tried to get her to come on the platform to yeah. speak verbally but it was impossible so she had to type which is understandable and you know she did make a lot of points with you know mm -hmm. you know her you know delaying everything which is understandable but at the same time she was trying to figure out if who was right and who was wrong it really didn't make a difference this was children that was involved in this situation yeah and that's what um um caught me off guard so i did speak to her and I just told her, I said, look, we're here to embrace you. Even though she was having mixed feelings because wherever she was at, mm -hmm. she was, you know, making the statements of, you know, what people were saying. I told her, I said, look, you wasn't there from the beginning. And it's understandable because she didn't really know anything. I give her the benefit of the doubt again. But what little did she hear, which is the second blogger that she went, she did tell her things. Mm -hmm. and it made her react because i was on that live then i said hey, maybe she had time to think or whatever the case may be she expressed her, herself but she i asked her did you report it right and then that's when i said did you report it in new york or did you put, report it in california she said california mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it put my mind at ease but like I said, I'm waiting to come, waiting for her to come out to see if she will talk again, because that is the main thing. Did you report it? But but okay, did she report it saying she got to New York? Meaning she when she was in New York, she called to California, or she reported it before she left California. I, I don't know exactly what day that she did it, but I asked her this uh, last night. She said that she reported it yesterday. So I'm saying but, but yesterday my, was I'm Sunday. Curious though, what what did she report? Like, did she report about what's going on around the kids or what may be happening to the kids in that house? That's what I'm saying. What did you report? Listen, she didn't give any details of what she said. That's what I don't know. But this is what she said last night on the live. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, in the platform. In the comments. Yeah. So yesterday was Sunday. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming that she probably called the hotline. That's what I'm thinking. She called, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, she could call and say anything. A lot of things happened there that she witnessed between him and her. You know what I mean? But they should report what, I, I guess, nobody knows really. Yeah, but let me tell you something. What is really important when you call that hotline, yeah. you have to be specific and give clear details to order for them to react. Mm -hmm. If you did not give it to them, they probably took the report, gave her the uh, com uh, complaint number, but 
are they really going to act on it? Because we yeah. already know how California is. Yeah. What? So that's that's what I want to ask her. What did she say? Yeah, and not only that, trying to figure out who's right and who's wrong. How does that even make any sense? Like, if you're in a house and you're seeing wrong being done, but two kids me, in front of them. But let me tell you something. Remember, mm -hmm. he can tell her anything, and she believed him. You got to listen to her, because what she wrote in the comments, that right there told me that she was believing everything that he said mm -hmm. about um, KO. <clears throat> and you know, you know what Sorry. yeah she's young she's not thinking she's not thinking really mm -hmm. because let me tell you i'm a kind of person like this if somebody's telling me something i'm not going to believe you right away yeah i'm not going to do it i have to see it for my own eyes or at least make some type of uh assessment with the situation but see she didn't do that she did not do that she just was listening to him and you know with uh amora's platform she was you know stating certain things he was saying about hey well, he, in front of the children and all of that manipulating her just like he manipulated exactly, everybody else. exactly exactly so like i said i got to give credit where credit is due because she didn't know mm -hmm. she wasn't aware of what was going on between the two of them unfortunately but this, this is the end results of it so hopefully it'll be a good outcome mm. you know what i'm saying just hopefully yeah because like i said everything that she stated it was not based on the children cc is right it was not baked it was more or less things that she witnessed with other women and everything like that she stated some things about the children but the focus was not on the children as far as her being in those interviews it was more it was more geared toward her more than mm -hmm. the children but she know that the man is bad she know he's nasty anyways because you could tell from coming at his house and seeing how he got the place kept you know what i mean and just watching even a week with those girls being around and what the kids are eating and stuff I would have already come to a conclusion on my own early on. You get what I yes. mean? Yes. Very early on. Yeah, but like I said, you know, we're older, she's young. She yeah. don't, she's not experiencing a lot of things in life. She's still young, so she's mm -hmm. learning. And I'm just saying that with this issue mm -hmm. that she learned from it, and don't jump into situations like that again, because let me tell you something. I do sympathize with the young lady, but at the same time, I'm just a little disappointed. And I'm just hoping that she do the right thing for the girls. Because like I said, everything, it was about her, not yeah. so much the children. Exactly. Yep. Mm. So it just, it's just a little bit too Why much. But like I said. For somebody who's supposed to be smart, I mean, they're supposed to be educated and like, I find certain things, you know, she's, she's almost 30. You know what I mean? Yes, she is 30, but again, still, mm -hmm. she's young. She's very intelligent, according to the way that she speak. But at the same time, she's a little naive, mm -hmm. still. Mm -hmm. she's still a little naive. So once she get older, she'll be able to develop a lot of things to distinguish what is bullshit and what is not excuse my french yeah she let the she let the color of his skin and the blue eyes fool her is what happened there to that a little bit of that as well because maybe she was like in love with him a little bit you know what i mean so she let she was blinded by some of them things i'm just thinking because nobody that's educated that you know, going to see all these things and not see that they're wrong, you know, from the jump start. Like, I don't care how much I like you. You know what I but mean? Let me tell you something. One thing that I've learned throughout the years, people could be book smart, but they're not street smart. They're not street. That's what I said before. She might be book smart, but not street smart. But when men is concerned, that's not the first rodeo, meaning I'm sure he's not the first man to had. You know what I mean? And not but, only that, you got to look at it too. Experience, experience is the best teacher. 
True. You know, because she was not that experienced with the children or dealing with a person like but him. But Lady Lot, I want to say something, right? Because yes, I hear you in certain instances, but if, if things did not go south, if things did not go sour, she would still be over there. Them children would still be going in the same mess and everything would have been okay. They would still be living okay. Yeah, yeah because I agree with you 100%. Because if it didn't happen, she would have still been there. And we would have still been there yeah. if because she's very vulnerable. She's very vulnerable. And that's what I picked up about her mm. as well. You know, yeah. she, she didn't have too much experience to even deal with a person like mm. him or to even see the signs. And she might have seen them, but just ignored them. I think that she ignores some of them. I'm not going to pick up for her as far as being young to not see certain things. Like she was part of it, meaning, and there's nobody out there that can tell me, look, I want you to go serve my ex. And I'm going to say, I'll be like, hell no. Now I get involved in that. No, no, I can't how old I is. You need to hire somebody to go serve her. No way. I'm not going to do that. No way. Especially you in that house. His mother can. And right around his mother, you hear him calling her the worst things. Around his children as well, he's calling her all these names. A W. Telling his child that that's why I left your mom because she was shaking her yash for men. All them things. I would have already thought that he was a bad person already. Like, seriously? No, no, no. I'm sorry. But let me tell you something. At that time, she really wasn't paying attention. She she heard about it. I would want to know what the man this man person is. That you talking like this in front of your children? Like exactly. You need to children? Exactly. Help either? No, hell no. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You. As a woman, no. No, 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 no. As a woman, she should have been more open her eyes should have been more open to these things that were happening around these kids that were being said around these kids Thank <laughs> you know, her slap. let me tell you something you are 100 percent right yeah but at the same time again we don't know exactly you know how did she take things you know what i'm saying like i said she's just coming out and she's talking <laughs> about her experience but again, her focus is really not on the children. It was not on That's the, just my opinion. Self. It was about self. They were probably over there bringing together. It was just about self to me. You know what I mean? Just like, because you know yeah. what? When things are good, they're good. There when go. things go left, that's when people want to start crying. There you go. There that's exactly you go. the situation. Because if things did not go sour, or bad, she would not have came out. We would not have heard about any of these things. And I'm glad, and you know what? I'm glad that she did because we learned a lot through her. True. But at the same time, the children just were not her major concern. Exactly. Period. And that's what I took for it. But I, like I said to her last night, mm -hmm. I appreciate that she did go and make the attempt. Now, I'm not sure about it, but, I, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. because she was concerned about what people were saying. That's not the point. Right. It's not the point. It's about the children. You are right. And, hmm. But anyway, she, she don't have no children, and she was just manipulated and vulnerable at the same time because she wasn't really thinking. Mm -hmm. She wasn't thinking, so... Look, yeah. I'm not making no excuse for her, but like I said, mm -hmm. I just hope that it is a lesson for her. Yeah, I just hope. And, and, it's right. for, her and for every other woman. Exactly. You you know what happens, right? When you go to somebody's house that already dealing with DRUGS and you do the same thing, none of y'all ain't gonna be thinking straight anyway. How y'all gonna be thinking straight? And you, you know, know what? Let me tell you something. People that do the drugs, yeah, they, they, it's like they alter the brain power because they don't think at that time. <laughs> they just want to fixate on getting high. Mm. I did an intern in uh, the drug rehab, and I observed that. Mm. And their behavior is off the hook. Mm. So, yeah, they don't think clearly. We, Lord of mercy. But anyway, <laughs> Mama, how you doing? How are I'm you, gonna, darling? Yes, I'm gonna just uh let you talk. Okay. Nice Thank you so much, baby. Yeah. 
All right. Good night, bye -bye. Jerry. You too. Mm -hmm. All right. Take it easy. Okay. How are you doing, Mama? Uh, I'm doing good. Yeah, that's good. That's yes, good. I'm doing good. Yeah. Uh, these things we're talking about here. Hello, everyone on the line. Praise be to God. Amen. This kind of thing we're talking about here, you know, when people or children become vulnerable, mm -hmm. they become vulnerable. And remember, this man always looks for people who are vulnerable. He <laughs> does not go around people who are smart. Exactly. That's why even the women he dealing with on the social media, he feel that he's smarter than them. Mm -hmm. That's how he feels. Yeah. He feels that they are not critical thinkers. So he know who to carry him next to. Why all these things happen? He didn't go to the white girls. True. Because he feels that the white girls are smart and the black girls are not smart. That's why he do all these things. Going around, coming to a, 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 a women. And, 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 and what kind of man? Come on, man. Mm -hmm. He's a nasty man. He is nasty. Yes. Very nasty. Mm -hmm. What kind of man will come to a woman? You, the woman is there. The right material is there for you. And you will look at that woman and say, put this thing to this social place and I'll pay you. What kind of man would do that? Right. That man got to look at you that you are vulnerable to exactly. him. Exactly. That's why he did that to her. And I believe there are other things worse than me, that. Me too. Yeah. There are other things to her worse than that. Don't you know even Cora herself was vulnerable to this man? Cora herself yeah. was vulnerable to this man. For the things he did to Cora. True. And came out here running, running his mouth. Talking about Cora want to pull the baby arm out, go and put the baby on the on the sink, and went like that on the garbage. What kind of man is this? I'm telling you. He, she hurting me sometimes. She tell me things sometimes. She yeah. tell me some bad things sometimes. Bad things she tell me sometimes. What kind of man is that? This one. Does that make sense to anybody to even talk for this man? <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Honestly. We've been talking this thing for almost three years. True. We open this thing up for people to see who this man actually is. Mm. That his mental capacity is not alright. Himself came back now and told them that up there is not correct. True. But yet they stay making five dollars, two dollars out of him because they see he himself vulnerable to them too anyway. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They can tell you what to do. Even the woman that was the, the older woman, which was like a lawyer to him, she came out to tell everybody who this man is. Yeah. Because Miriam was very close to this man. They were communicating. Mm -hmm. Now she came back, she said things that nobody should go and even say, people should even give up on this man <laughs> and just pray for him. True. Give up on not give up on him as him right. being right. or as him being, but give up on his behavior and just mm -hmm. pray for him. I would give up on talking for you. If I were talking for him, I would have given him up. Long time, Mama. Long, long time. time. I would have given him a long time long and time. just pray for this man. Yeah. Because every day this man come by, this man got new plan, mm -hmm. new drama. He create things. Exactly. Then he go to the banking lane. Then he get money. You think if you you are not working? You said you are making three hundred dollars an hour. That one you ran from that. Nobody saw the job. Beverly Hill. You went there. We saw all these things. Right. And this guy is way. This man is way older than this guy. Mm -hmm. True. This man is way older than this guy. So that was an opportunity for him. Yeah. To use women yeah, like that, yeah. black women, especially when they are under age. Yeah. Let's say under his age, not under age, but under his age. Mm -hmm. Vulnerable women, people that he can tell and go do so. Hmm. That girl, that girl cannot tell you some of the things he did to her. Yeah, 
True. She won't tell. She won't tell the public because even some of the video that she said she had, those videos, she's so embarrassed to bring this, some of the things that she took from this man, and that's his lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Many of the debut thing that they can see the bee and use you like an animal and touch you in the street. Exactly. Why will you even get up? It, it's, it's so sad. This exactly. technology now bring them all over the place. Going on, what, what a woman doing on a link? To find a man on a link. For what reason? You are beautiful. You went to school. What are you doing on a link? True. Then it's better for you to go in a party <laughs> or somebody invite you to a party, you go there and then you find somebody find you because that's some of the, 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 the curse. Yeah. The father women. Because yeah. in the Bible, we are not to look for men. Mm -mm. We are not to look for men. Yeah. It is men that are supposed to go to look for women. No woman is supposed to look for any man. Mm -hmm. And no matter where you are, your Adam will come. Your boy will meet you. Why run all over the place looking for men that you even know? And I said it the other day. <coughs> she opened herself to sickness, diseases. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She open herself or any other woman who would do this kind of thing. You open yourself to those things. Mm -hmm. You can just see a man on a link. Then the man said, come to my house. <laughs> she got no experience. She has not had child mm -hmm. or children. Right. She don't know nothing about these things. And she talked about going there to help him out because he made himself so sorry for you don't know what he told again. True. How my wife left me. My wife said some things to me. She tell me some bad, bad words sometimes. And mm -hmm. she did that one to me. She took all my money. She bought my business. And my money was so much. And Cora messed with all my money. And look at she living in the Masha. If it was not me, I brought from Africa. She was poor. And I gave her father $1,000 a day. And I gave all the family all this money. Nobody know what he told this girl. True. Now move this girl hard. Because you see, what you are looking for, mm. men know what you want. Yeah. And they know what women want. So what if they want to entice you, those are the things they're going to bring out. Especially when they know you are vulnerable. They bring those things out. Maybe she maybe he told her, Oh, I'm looking for a wife to marry. Mm -hmm. So you can take care of my children. You are so beautiful. You're looking good. I'm the best mm -hmm. woman I want to be with. Okay. This kind of man yes. who was on that other woman phone from, from Canada. I remember that, 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 that video. Mm -hmm. That video. Oh, I can give her number to you. You can call her. I got Nancy number two. Yeah. You can call them, but don't tell them that I gave it to you. Because if you do that, tell her when you call her. Mm. Tell her that I got a sex video for her. Yes. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. Tell her I have a sex video for her. When you tell her, then she will be quiet. Mm -hmm. So he knows what to say about people and say to people, this particular man, he's one of the most crafty men I've ever seen. For the past, the kind of thing I learned mm -hmm. about this man for the past two years, going to three years. I'm telling you. If other women are learning it, let her go to the lane. Maybe they might find him there. Maybe someday you will find you will be a girl. Exactly. Because when they made a picture to look like girl, he said he be he's beautiful. He mm -hmm. likes that. Right. right. Tinder Lane, you go there, you put your name there, you will find him. He will add uh, someday you will look like a girl, but you might not know that him. Well, someday you will look like a man. I'm telling you. So and the men go there, they see him like a girl. The women go there, they see him like a man. So he's both ways. 
Anywhere you go, you will see him like that. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying allegedly, but the guest said it. No good man will tell you to put things to their butt. No. Mm -hmm. That's somebody who is on the other side. Mm -hmm. True. You're having the desire of that. Right, right. Nobody. You don't want to talk. It. Nothing wrong with you. Your your butt not itching. You got no crow crow there. You got no crow crow. But you just call a woman and say, hey, take this thing and put it there. And then put it there. For one minute, say, that's somebody who is hungry for something. Lord have mercy. Mm -mm -mm. Yearning for something. Then I see it with me. Talking for him, talking for him. Then when he come back, look at it where he used. If God favors you, the devil favors you too. Yeah. Wow. Wow. If God favors you, the devil favors you. So you are one of those that the devil favors. Mm -hmm. And because the devil favors you, messed up. That's why your behavior like this. Yeah. Yeah. You go going in other people's lives, stepping in people's lives, trying to destroy people's children, trying to take them from the root they're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Because you want your evil desire. We all know that the devil favors you. Mm -hmm. That's why you are doing the work of the devil. Mm -hmm. Because he, he favors you. Because if God favors you, you won't be doing what you're doing. Sure. You will not do these things to women when mm -hmm. you got two girls. Yes. Yeah. You think why you did today, guys? Ziba, you got two guys, and you're not even thinking. You're doing it to so many other women, going there lying to them. I got my two daughters. I'm a very good father. I'm a very, I'm one of the best father. Mm. These are my girls. I can do anything for my girls. Oh, I can do anything for my girls. I love my girls. Go up talking about taking my girls from me, but I will find not taking my girls from me. Mm. Wow. Mm. You love the girls. They are in the house. You are taking women there. Every day, different woman. Making them calling different women, mommy, mommy, mommy. That's why Katina said, hey, that's mommy house. Because they're confused. Mommy house? Mm -hmm. Hey, that's mommy house. they confuse. You confuse the little children. Mm -hmm. And if you can confuse all a girl, like this girl, giving her things to put in your butt then you come by then you sleep with her then you got flies all over the place then your people say that now you're that hey, hey, you are a man yeah right Please. yeah right mm -hmm. and when you go tingle league i don't tingle people but tingle lane jesus yeah tingle lane you gotta go somewhere you go there you do anything yeah then you move on there now you can't call god name mm -hmm. Now you can't call God mm -hmm. name. Your yeah. lifestyle is completely far from God. No one I told you that when your mother brought her oil to put on you, that's annoying oil because she or such is so annoying mm -hmm. and you are so annoying on the social media. Kora move on with your life mm -hmm. and you stay lingering around here hurting women. You got so much curse from women on you. So much curse. Mm -hmm. Women cursing you every day. Mm -hmm. I bet you, who did they want? Coloma there too, showing you. Yeah. All the things you told her, you pretended on social media that you are one of the best men. Yeah. She's showing you. The girl from the Brazilian girl showing you. Ziba showing you. All the other women that been in and out in that house, all of them putting a the curse on you. Mm -hmm. Everybody putting a curse on you. The moment that you JD, don't, don't, don't call it need to me. Please don't call it need. Please don't call it need. Right. Every day, you got curse on you. Telling you. And you, you got to go back to repent so that these things can move on, on you. Amen. Because if you stay on the Tinali, I mean, up, women come here every day, that one can't go. They put a curse on you. You go for another one. They come, they sleep for one week. They go, they put a curse on you. Another one come. Mm -hmm. Because you're, you just will live like that, a worthless and a useless mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. Then you come by, then you sit on social media. And uh, five that I can do. Five that I can do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, then they gave you coffee. They gave you everything. Five that I can do. Right. You couldn't even afford a curse. In your house, you put my dinner table in your kitchen. 
Yeah. You don't even know the difference. Even your mother is a complete blank, blank. When something is completed, blank, nothing there. Mm. That's who she is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She came to you and saw your Madonna table. I had the one show it out. I said, look at it, look at the table, the kitchen table. He didn't even know that. True. The people had to get him coffee before he went to go and get a couch. Mm -hmm. Buy a new car. Why don't I buy a new car? car. I, I bet you got a picture of that car. He can show it to those guys on mm -hmm. Tinder Lane. Yes, my car. Yeah. Yes, my car. What make you think that they get when I get up? If they may say, I'm a doctor. Exactly. I'm a doctor. I have everything. Mm -hmm. You see the girl here picture here? This is Cora. Her name is Cora. Go to her life, you will see her. I made her like True. that. True. Never know who I was made, him. Yes, I made her like that. You see my two girls, me and her born. We had the two, two girls. You can tell, let me tell you, that's my life. Yeah. I wanted the best for her. I took her from Africa and I made her like that. All the money she got, I spent all my money. All my money on that. But I'm a doctor. But you see, right now, who I deal with, I deal with, with, with Hollywood people. I go right on Beverly Hill. These are the kind of people I talk to. So when you come to me, you got the best man. You are lucky. Mm -mm -mm. And no girls will be running to come. <laughs> Only when they come now, bam! Here we go. He fighting all night. He all over the place. Mm -hmm. Telling them to do things. Yeah. Telling them to do the wrong thing, teaching them the wrong thing. Exactly. Someone mm. came around. Come on, someone took off. She, she couldn't part. stay in that environment at all. Yeah. That environment was not good for her at all. She would have lost her career. She knew it. She took off. She don't even talk about him. She don't even want to mention him. Nothing. Exactly. Focus, girl, on your career. Focus on your career. Yeah. And once you heard some of it from, from our line, mm -hmm. if you got sense, go get out of this man way. This man not see what he did what he did to Cora, he will pay the price. And no other woman should get up and say, Oh, Cora is this Cora is this. They may have people using profile, different, different profile. Mm -hmm. Going to some of these women, these women that he came over there. Some of them were looking for him. He went and put our picture behind him. Wherever. Just so he can be able to use women exactly. that are vulnerable. Mm -hmm. That's how can this little girl end up in a plate. I'm telling you. That's how they can end up in a plate mm -hmm. and he had to eat all for dinner, for breakfast, for lunch. Jesus. At the end of the day, he came out here to tell the world that she took something from him. Yeah. But he does not want to accept the fact that the girl was in his house. The girl took the picture. Oh, negativity, negativity. But that's your kitchen. Yes. Exactly. Negativity, that's your kitchen. That get being very positive. That your kitchen, that your bed you are lying on. Mm -hmm. That under your feet you black like a charcoal. Mm -hmm. That's you. I'm telling you. With the belly clothes all on the floor, that's you. Mm hmm with all the things that can happen to your children, that's you. Right. With your kitchen, with the flies, so that's you. Exactly. Why you want to leave it on other people? You want to make other people feed it. This they can. The only thing I can tell her is she will listen to the podcast. Right. Right. I can tell you, Ziba, don't make this mistake in a move. First fool is a fool, but second fool is not a fool. It's a B. <laughs> Don't never ever go on any app to get yourself in the kind of foolishness. True. To go get yourself sickness for nothing. Exactly. To let man use you for his own glory. Mm -hmm. Try to put yourself together. If you have to go look for part-time job somewhere, look for part-time job somewhere and go to school. Right. You're born in America. You can look for student loan anywhere and take it. Yeah. There's so many jobs that you can do. You don't need man to get where you want to go. You don't need no man to give you a dream. You have your own dream in you. You can make your own life. With God, all things are possible. Amen. 
You can't get up. You think that when you see me and the man say, I'm a doctor, false doctor, Facebook doctor, lying doctor, eh? saga doctor. Just run to it. Just run to it. Then you go there. Now he finished now. Hmm. Now he calling you a negative person. Even though that he, that his picture, the evidence is there. He stays saying it's a lie. The people stay saying it's a lie. Mm -hmm. You exactly. looking, there are other women shame and embarrassed to come out. It's not on the Ziba. There are other women that are embarrassed to come True. out. I agree. And some of them were on Cora Live, cussing her, typing things that he was sending them, telling them what to do. Mm -hmm. But today, look where Cora is. Cora will never, ever, never, ever, never, ever, ever. never belong to God. But this other never, ever. Yeah. That's the earthly never ever okay. will ever make the attempt with such a man like this. I'm telling you, never. She will never come back. She will never come back to him. No. He can go to Nigeria and get your Nigerian friends and go to the last Baba Shala and burn all your things. She will never come back to you. Amen. You exactly. are on the never list with Kura. Never list. Exactly. Never jacket. Never, never, she live you on never street. Mm -hmm. Never street. Yeah. Because you got different, you are different. Some of the white men can't even behave like the way you're behaving. Mm. Well, because something is wrong with you. You're mm. not all right. Yeah. Then for two years, going to three years, by next year, we are almost in December. Yeah. We'll be going to three years. Yes. With this kind of nonsense every day. Somebody got to be talking the same thing. To warn him up, he can't change. Things coming up, like you're ticking under the ground. More dirt coming up, more dirt coming up. Every day, he got no sense, he can't change. And the women that were him, they that saying got no sense, they can't think. To say, let's try to talk to this guy. Call him on the phone. If you think that you can come up publicly to tell him, call him on the phone so he can go do something better for himself. Yes. You are giving somebody fish every day, but you don't want to teach them how to fish. Hmm. You teach him how to fish. You teach him how to go to work. Hmm. Not to only be a beggar or doctor. It's not supposed to be a beggar exactly. before they can survive. He's a doctor in America. They are yawning and hungry for doctors. People looking for doctors. If he is truly a doctor, then he need not to be a beggar on Facebook. Not at all. Too. It's supposed to be working. Mm -hmm. Supposed to be working. But he don't want to do it. And you're putting hand under him. Someday you'll put bra on him. Someday you'll get him hairdo. Someday you'll get him panties. Someday you'll get him cutter. Someday you'll get him something else. He just in your hair moving from. He went Minnesota to give him hairdo. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> he went Minnesota. Chihuahua put hairdo on his head. Why are you making this one like this? You all try hard and do something better with him. I'm telling you. Exactly. If you all keep treating better, then I'm sorry for all of you. Mm -hmm. Bread of the same feather plus together. Yeah. The same person he is, that's who you guys are. Yeah. And that's who your husbands are. And you're loving like that. And you're in your dungeon. Mm -hmm. Siba, get yourself out of Tinder Mm-hmm. Or any app looking for men. You are beautiful. You are precious. Exactly. Get off Tingaling or Tingaling or whatever. Mm -hmm. get, get off that link and go to something better for yourself. You are young. Do not look for men on app. Yes. Let men look for you. You are a precious jewel. You are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. And God loves you. Exactly. God loves yeah. you. Don't let no man use you. Don't give no man the chance to use you and dump you. Right. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> and I pray for Cora children every day because the environment is not good for them. That their father, who born dog, that dog born dog, <clears throat> he born them. He, 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 they are his children. Yeah. They, at least they will know that their father is a dirty man. <laughs> their father is a dirty man. When they go to mama, then they say, oh, is that mommy's yes. house? When they come, oh, his daddy's house. Right. 
Oh, is that mommy house? Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, it's daddy house. So they know the difference yeah. now between mommy house and daddy house. Let them be there. One day they will look at them and say they will know that daddy house is not a place for us to be. Okay. And that day will come. Okay. As long as we own this line, breathing like the breath of life, mm -hmm. one day these children will decide not to go to our house. Amen. They will talk to you on the phone. If you can't take care of your house, you can't take care of the children. You can't protect the children. Right. You want to confuse them all. Hmm. One day coming for you. One day coming. I love you, Sutish. I love every one of you. Love you too, Mom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But this man, sometimes I get tired talking. Tired talking for this man. The man can change, Sutish. I know. I know. The man it's can like... change. He can change. Yes. And the people where he can change, their thinking capacity is just low. They just off. so people like the people like that, many just tired. Yeah, many just tired. Yeah, people who talk will make sense with this. I mean, put some sense in this man's head. He can't get it, but he will continue to be exposed as long as he stay holding yep. on. Right. To ask for, for to to repent, so long he stay holding on. He does not want to repent. He does not want to tell Korasari, go all he need and ask God for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. It is grace. It, it is grace. Will keep coming. It will keep coming. It will keep coming. It will keep coming until he can do that. Amen. God bless you. I love you. Amen. With the love of God. Thank you, thank you, Mama. We love you. At Amen. this point, the way I see it, these people are filled with. P O I S O N. You know, it's like it's something infiltrated in the system, in their bodies, and they know no different. All they know is hate, jealousy, evil. That's what P O I S O N by itself right this way. So how do how are they gonna cure it? How are they gonna cure that? They can't. They can just leave this earth with that same thing inside of them. That's what that's what will happen to people like them. And unfortunately. That's the people that he is entangled with and was entangled with. So what I tell us about him, he got the same thing in his body as well. That's why he ain't going to learn. One day he will wake up when he probably ain't got no choice, when he has some deep, deep SHIT. But that's their business. All we know is that, Jebba, we gave you some great advice on this video today. I'm sure that you will come along and listen, even if you don't type. Take it to heart. Do something else for your life, darling. Do something. Even if you want to create content, you ain't got to create content about him or what he did to you or whatever. Just let it be known to other women out there. Just beware of who you get entangled with. Stay off the dating sites, truly, because you go and you meet somebody on that dating site one day, next day know you in their house before the week out. What's up with that? You don't even know if that person's a master and you will and you are the er you don't know nothing about these people and you're just gonna get entangled with it you're too young too young to be so naive learn from your mistakes and move on and do something else in your life period thank you all for everybody joining this video today i appreciate you all as always thank you everybody send the stars uh thank you again gazella for the coffee people that share the video and just being here Let's just continue to do what's right, not what's wrong. Who's requesting at this late minute? Who could that be? Who could it be? Caddy, Caddy, you got less than five minutes, darling, because my battery is also down. No, unfortunately, I, don't... Yeah. I want to give everybody a small assignment. Okay. Wherever you meet Jiba talking, send a question. Yeah. And the question is. Did you allow Keho's children to call you mommy? Mm -hmm. I love that. Give her that question. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sissy. I love that. And I have a feeling already that I know the answer to that. But that's a great question indeed, right? Because I only heard her mention about one person that came there, that when the kids were calling that person mommy, that the person corrected the child you know what i mean so love you all god bless you all enjoy the rest of your day see you in the next